Hello guys, this is Joshua8600, back with more Grey's Anatomy, the video game. Last episode, we finished episode 1 in the game, and we learned that this patient might have diphtheria. Let's start episode 2. This man has less than 5 days. Beautiful. In med school, we are taught that in order to become truly great surgeons, we must be dedicated. A hospital emergency has been declared. We have a patient with diphtheria, which as you know is very contagious. I'm in contact with the CDC to hey, the CDC. so that we can treat the patient who has been infected. The CDC will also be bringing vaccine so that we can immunize all those who have not been infected yet. We currently have a very small supply of the vaccine here at the hospital. Chief, I have four surgeries today that will require that vaccine. I need some set aside. Same here, Chief. Hey, it's Callie. Five vaccinations for my surgeries. Those with weaker immune systems and children should come first. I need to stay in control of this situation. Match three groups of anger. Okay. Seriously, I hate those now. Those matching things. Listen up, people! The nurses have gone through the charts and assigned a priority level and a corresponding colored flag to each patient. You will be sent out in pairs to complete the vaccinations. Better handle this myself. Fascinating. Your assignments are as follows. Dr. Stevens and Dr. Lexi Gray, you'll take care of the red level. Patients with open or contaminated wounds. Okay. Okay, so I'm starting here. So I want to go... Make this up that way. Down this way. Up. It's good to plan this out before I actually start the timer. It's one. That's two. Wonder how many there are. Three. Four. There we go. Doctors Han and O'Malley. Take care of the orange level. How is this a Meredith scene? Less than three doses of the vaccine. Okay. So I start here. Go up, right, up. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Okay, this is good. I can handle this. Still enough time. I hope. Suddenly the game has gotten very difficult. By very difficult, I mean slightly more difficult. More than I'm used to. And I'm just trying to pay attention to the story, mostly. Dr. Sloan and Gray, head up to maternity. Okay, so I'm right here. I want to go either way. Come on. Ugh. Why? Just gonna go right there. Oh. No, why'd I do that? How did I not see that? Oh god. I'm not going to make it. Yes, I am. Okay. This is getting scarier and scarier as I go along. I just want to know the story. And still be chief. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get chief throughout the whole game. We've already run out of the vaccine. What? And only half the patients have been vaccinated. 
not good. Sir, that was the rep from the CDC. And? Where's this agent they're sending over? On his way with more vaccine, but there's a delay in the antitoxin. Why? There was an outbreak in Puerto Rico that depleted their stock. They're developing more, but it takes time. How much time? A week, maybe. Oh my god. Didn't they say that the guy has less, like, less than five days? Avoid anger now. This is like a pattern. Oh my. Okay. Keep calm. Yeah. Good job, Chief. That man has less than five days. We're gonna have to figure something out. Dedication is about more than just time. Yes, sir. Dedication is also a state of mind. Right now, my state of mind is getting kind of whacked out because... I barely made chief in that scene. This looks totally horror movie, but it's going to keep you healthy. So I so I guess she technically lied about the vaccine, but that's good because he's a baby. But is that favoritism? Ah, oh, who cares? I hope that um, she vaccinated herself, or else she can. Uh, I don't know. Isn't it to, like to prevent getting infected? So never mind. Um, I think, I think baby talk would be funnier. The music is repetitive in this one. Baby talk. Aw, did Tucky get an owie? Perhaps Tucky needs a nappy for his wee-wee. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. I'm Damon Berger. Damon Berger? Isn't this exactly what I'm looking for? Wait a second. That one, right? Apparently. Sir, I'm going to need you to return to the waiting area. Mind if I take a look at him? Who is this guy? <clears throat> oh my god. More of this matching nonsense. Okay, this doesn't help me. Okay. Seriously, that... That was getting me angry. Please take a step back right now. I know I may not scare you right now, but I advise you not to judge a book by its cover because this book will kick your ass. Allow me to apologize again. My name's Damon Berger. I'm with the Center for Disease Control. Can you tell me where I can find Chief Weber? Oh, so he's from the CDC. You realize if I get fired, it's totally your fault. <laughs> That'll be on his conscience. It is this dedicated mindset that causes us to always press on. Really? Now, you're focusing on your relationship with Derek right now? In the midst of this diphtheria outbreak? Come on, Mayor. What's is that her name? Simone, right? What's she doing? Hmm. Sorry, 
can you give us a moment? I need to assist Dr. Shepard. It's okay. Wow. Guess she's so upset about the whole Mark thing. So, who do we have here? Mia Castillo. Underwent a hemispherectomy three weeks ago. Been in a coma ever since. That's not good. You said you were looking for me? Be direct, yet. Yeah, that's flirty, Meredith. At least I finished it in the time, right? Yeah, uh, I wanted to see if you were available this evening. For a date. A date? A, a date. date? Can you provide me with additional information regarding said date? Like the rules? Who's paying? Oh. Oh no. So wait, who's paying Meredith? I wanna know. These rules. Like a real date. You and me, at a restaurant, bottle of wine, conversation, dessert, the whole deal. You and I have never been on an actual date. Are you serious about this? Are you serious? Seriously? You need to be solid for Derek. Okay. Bounce away the clouds. Hey, the way that, that worked out pretty fine. Those clouds. Things are going to be different this time. How different? You. Thank you. She's awake. We need to do a neuro exam. Awesome. She's awake. Good. Up there. Up there. Down here. Oh, I'm messing that up. And once more up here. She's going to need lots of therapy. She's missing half of her brain and she's still alive. You can't beat that. That's true. Alright, Chief of Surgery. <clears throat> Christina. It drives us to be faithful to routine, no matter what the circumstance. First we have Eddie Paulson. Somebody talk to me fast. How did he get infected? Okay, so heart, hypnotizing, thermometer, fire. Heart, thermometer, hypnotizing, that fire. Force treatment is needed. Age 29, presented with hemoptysis and a sore throat. Upon finding the classic gray membrane on the oropharynx, we have diagnosed him with diphtheria. What do we do now? That's a very good question. contacts and ensure they've been immunized. Obtain antitoxin. Made your point, Yang. He's all yours. Uh, no, that's not what I... Uh-oh. She has her Davidson Fellowship with Dinner the Dr. Crusasian. And I don't like creepy nurse guy. Collect cold. Awesome. I don't... I haven't forgotten what happened in the on-call on room, Christina. I'm very disappointed in you. Why was that so easy? Listen, I like you. Okay, I don't. But I'm sure you're a nice guy. I am. And I really no, he's not. Nice guys. So last night was... You really hate nice guys, so I guess you love Burke because he did leave you at the altar. What, what do you call last night? Nothing. Nothing. A mistake. Okay. But what about dinner? Yeah, so, yeah, she got left up at the altar. Very 
closely. Very closely. I close. do not want to date you. I do not want to sleep with you again. And I really do not want to have dinner with you tonight or any other night. The only thing I want from you is a to never see you again. A scalpel. And even that should only happen in the OR. Do you understand? Crystal. Or, yes. So is that clear then, So Crystal? that's a maybe? Okay. It's a dedication that gets tested every single day. That is just beautiful. Is that a maybe? No, it's not a maybe. Where are we at? Okay, let's keep going. Dr. Bailey! They found her between parked ambulances. Someone's done a number on her. ABC's Karev. Airway, breathing, circulation. What's this? ABC check. Checking the airways. That's something that has to be done, April. And uh, there is an episode in, I, I don't remember what season where, the, um, April Kepner, who is now one of my favorite characters, but at first I didn't really like her because, measure on the Glasgow Coma Scale. Yeah, I, I just didn't like her at first, but yeah, um, she got fired because she forgot to check someone's airway. She got distracted when someone had a major trauma. GCS of nine, just this side of a coma. No pain response in her right arm. The arm's broken. She needs a CT. Wait. Okay. Pupil examination. Good. Good. Something's gonna go wrong with one of these, aren't? Isn't it? No, I guess not. Love people's dilated. Oh, it is? Whoops. Because that's why I'm not a doctor. To have your dedication slip. Excuse me? Was that my wife? Debbie? She was found in the parking lot. Someone beat her pretty bad. Almost put her in a coma. Uh, is there a place I should wait? Even for a minute. That's... Suspicious, to say the least. I think this is the last thing we're gonna do, because I think it's the last- No! Oh, the act is over. So you know what? Now I guess I'm gonna end the episode. I thought there were six scenes in an act. What do I know? Okay, so, I'm Joshua8600, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.